Internet. My name is Andrew, um, and I'm here with the NCSU <laughs> Makerspace. Um, what was it? I am one of the student assistants here for the space, um, and my specialties um, and areas of expertise are, let's see, um, Adobe, embroidery, uh, specifically machine embroidery, um, digital design, sticker making, 3D printing, and I do some, I do some, um, I do, what was it, I do some stuff with wood every now and then, but that's it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, alrighty, is everyone ready to get started? I'm gonna assume yes. Okay, so today we are making some, today we're gonna be making some vinyl stickers as you can see from the title. Um, so there's gonna be three steps, two steps actually, my bad. Um, what's gonna happen is that we're going to throw this into, we're going to, we're gonna make our design um, or digitize our design. And then we are going to throw it into the Cricut design software. And then finally, we are going to throw it into the actual Cricut, uh, which is this giant machine that I will show you later. I'm honestly not sure if the camera is gonna be able to show all of it, but we'll, we'll, try, to make, we'll try to make it work. Okay, so what was it? So the first thing is we have to make our design. Um, so using Illustrator, and so there's a couple ways that you can go about this. You can choose to either make your own design, um, which is awesome. Original work is always valid, always appreciated. Um, what was it? But yeah, um, what was it? Uh, and the other way is you can take a design that's already out there, um, or a piece of media, and you can vectorize it and throw it into, um, was it? you can vectorize it. And it depends. Um, sometimes one way is faster than the other, or more efficient. Um, it just all depends. Um, what was it? So there are two things that we're gonna be keeping in mind. Ooh, yes, what am I gonna make? I'm gonna be totally honest, I have no clue. Like, absolutely no idea. So if y'all, so I'm gonna go through like the basics of some basic guidelines that I'm gonna follow for di for digital designing. The, was it this part? Um, but if y'all wanna throw ideas down in there. Ooh, cactus, that's cute, that's cute. Yes. Um, yeah, if y'all wanna throw ideas out there, um, please do so. What was it? Because I'm, uh, I'm like eighty percent sure I'm just going to. <laughs> I'm I'm eighty percent sure I am just going to um, make it on my own, um, rather than actually taking it from the internet. Because I am totally unsure whether or not we're allowed to do that. Um, but yes. Eighty percent cactus. Eighty percent cactus. Yes. Um, and all of the verbal forms, not verbal, um, plural forms of cactus. Um, what was it? So yes, we'll do that. Um, so there's a couple of guidelines that you're gonna want when you're actually doing, so when you're, when you're designing stuff like this. Um, A, the bigger it is, as long as it'll fit inside the vinyl sheet that you have, the bigger it is, the easier it is to, to cut, because, um, ooh, that would be super cute. Okay, okay. Um, what was it? What was it? Because the Cricut is really great um, at cutting stuff out. The problem is when you get to margins that are somewhere between a millimeter to a couple millimeters, it just starts to get real finicky um, and 
card was that the vinyl can start peeling up and get caught on on the on the blade as it's moving around, and so it can make a whole, it can make a whole thing. Um, the second part is you want a simple design. So what I mean by that is that you want less angles, less lines, um, just like if I was going to do font. I would say the easiest way to do font would be to do block letters because um, it's just all right angles and it's perfectly easy and simple. Um, and then there is, what was it? And that's the two main guidelines you want. Bigger the better, was it? Bigger, simpler. Um, just because um, it'll, make your, it'll make your life easier down the road if you decide it that way. Okay, what was it? So I think we are in a consensus that we should... Hmm. Yes. That we should make a cactus. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um... Um, what's it? So first thing you want to do is you want to um, is you want to actually draw this. Um, so what's it? You don't want the lasso tool. You want the pen tool. Specifically, what was it with a cactus? I'm gonna assume it's curvature. I'm gonna assume it's we're gonna do a curvy one. Actually, you know what? Why don't I pull up a um, stock? I, I, I want to pull up a reference photo first because, um, reference photos are important, folks. They really are. What was it? You just, it makes life so much easier. It really does. I don't know what to tell you. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Just a moment. Hmm, okay. What was it? Let me show y'all. Actually, what was it? I'm gonna just choose one and then bring it down. Yeah. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do. Whoops. That was. That is not the picture. Oh god, it's been a while since I've actually remembered how to look at things. What was it? By the way, I should I should I should tell y'all. What was it? I'm here for y'all. So like, um, it was it. And this is primarily, well, I'm doing this. But also, if y'all have questions, please feel free at any time to ask me. Um, what was it? I will do my best to answer. Um, what was it provided? You know, it's about the library and this in the space and all that jazz. Um, and Abby the mob, Abby, our wonderful wonderful moderator, will um, try to do the same. Yes. Hello. Um, okay. Let's see. <laughs> capture. Yes. Let's see. Let's this. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Um, so Y'all should see that now. I'm gonna make it a little smaller because it's kind of taking up the whole thing for me at this point. Okay. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Ooh, 
These look cute and also simple. What was it? Or... What was it? Something like this, maybe? Yes. Okay. Um, so I think I'm going to use... That one as a reference photo. So we're going to go through one by one and I'm going to talk about how you choose an easy uh, one, one to, uh, an easy design to, to digitize. I'm not, we're not actually going to digitize these because these aren't mine. Um, so I'm going to loosely reinterpret these. But anyways, so you have to think about it in the terms of like the cutting. Um, so for example, when you have a shape and then you have lines within the shape that you want to be signified in some way. Um, the first one would be a little rough. Just pointing it out there. Um, because you have all these tiny little marks on the inside um, and the, the line signifying the latitude Latitude marks, I don't really know what to call those, to be perfectly honest. Um, what was it? Something like this would be pretty easy, or these. Um, yeah. Um, what was it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, but yeah, so there's, there's, there's a couple ways that you can go about this. Um, what was it? I would probably want to do... What was it? The, one of the little ones with the, inside the tiny pots with like that look like a flower but are green um, because of how the overall, like the outside shape is, or the outside shape is the most important to the design. Um, and... If we lose a couple of the inside sketches or inside inside lines, it's gonna be okay. Um, so let's just start out. So let's do. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, so I'm gonna take my pen tool. What was it? Just start off with a small box, and then and what was it? And make a box. What was it? I'm also going to select it, and then I'm just going to give it a different color because I don't love how it looks right now. Uh, we'll, we'll, we're gonna um, mess around with it later, so it doesn't matter right now. Um, let's see. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna shrink it a little, and then I'm going to make the cactus. Whoops, that was not what I intended. What was it? Right. Let's see, okay. Ooh, it's been a hot minute since I have done this. Was it? And then I'm just gonna make bam, 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 bam. Something about that doesn't look right. 
Um, yeah, yeah, it's rough. Like, honestly, it's rough. Um, well, I should be honest with y'all. I haven't used Adobe Illustrator in like six months. Um, mainly because it's expensive. Um, my favorite tool slash feature. Um, so, as a general rule, I really love the undo function because I make a lot of mistakes, but it's okay. Mistakes are part of the learning process. Um, what was it? But, what was it? So I'm just gonna zoom in a little so I can focus on it. What was it? And also change it to green because it's a cactus. We're working with a cactus, y'all. Um, yes. What was it? But like, other than the undo feature, I would probably say, what was it? So you can go to object pattern, not pattern, where is it, where is it, where is it? Image trace. Image trace, honestly, it's amazing. It's how you digitize everything. Um, not everything, my bad. Um, it's how you digitize pictures, so you can tell the tell Illustrator to automatically generate lines and um, and curves um, based on a sketch or a picture that you throw in there, um, and it basically preps it for um, throwing it into any other program or application um, that involves like actual well any three three D application of a, a Illustrator. Um, for, uh, for equipment in the makerspace. So like embroidery and um, the Cricut and the laser cutter. Um, so that it's just really important for all those. Um, what was it? But yeah, what was it? Do y'all have a favorite a tool? Because like, honestly, I'm, I'm a beginner at Illustrator. Um, like, I'm sure y'all just know some tricks to, like, who just throw it from, like, in three moves, just throw this, turn this into, like, a 3D render cactus in 10 seconds. Because I believe in the power of Illustrator. I do not believe in the power of how easy it is to get there. What was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, when you're... When you're messing around with the individual points like this, um, and these are called anchor points. Um, here, let me zoom in a little so you can see better. Yeah, um, and they're the little blue dots at the end of every line that, um, that starts an angle. Ooh, yes, guides are very useful. They are <laughs> very important. Um, what was it? Um, yeah, they're really nice. I'm not going to worry about them right now, to be perfectly honest, because I don't have to, because the Cricut software will um, worry about it for me, and I can just scale it however I want later. But um, yeah, they're good. I am so in agreement with you right now. What was it? So let's see. All right. So what I'm doing right now is, I should probably explain um, so right now what I'm doing is I'm using the direct select tool, which is the filled in arrow um, to, to double click on anchor points so I can select those specifically um, and move those around so I can change the angle without having to redraw the whole thing, which is frankly just a pain. It's just much more easier this way. What was it? So let's do this. Also, if you hold shift as you do it, it'll just make things easier on you if you want, like, per more symmetrical, perfect angles and all that, all that jazz. Nope. Yeah, it looks better. What was it? Um, zoom out for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Whoops, that was shift. 
Um, so now we have this. And let's just go ahead and make this match this. Honestly, I'm gonna just get rid of it. It's annoying. This will work. Um, so that's a good question. Honestly, I was thinking it might be cute to make maybe six of these babies. Um, or is it so just throw them in there and we'll see what happens? Was it probably um, because the the sheet that we work with? Here, let me pull it. Let me show you all. So this is a sheet that we're going to actually be throwing our vinyl stickers on and be cutting out of. Well, and it's a foot by a foot. So, um, or for the cutting. So I'm considering maybe two and a half inches. Um, two, and a, two, two and a half inches wide. Um, four inches long. What was it? Because, again, it just makes it easier on cutting later on um let's see but yeah but yeah um that's what i'm thinking right now yes a very nice cactus size <laughs> and that is all i can hum of that song because of copyright issues um let's see though so you can also, what you can do is, you can anchor things, you can, I should probably just make, I, I should probably make. Um, so even when you have a complete object like this, what you can actually do is, if I can remember to drag this up, what was it? can go ahead and what was it pen tool and what was it start on that start off that path go here well that's a little small what was it? go like this like this 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 and then the bam here we go um and then whoops right i forget it's it's a different size um but yeah um actually so there's another th there's another part of the there's another part of the thing that I was thinking about uh, that I forgot to mention was that cactuses are generally or sorry sticker making generally it's m like it's like the easiest thing to do is work within one color because um, otherwise you have to like cut it out in a different color um, which is fine it just means a little extra work what was it for the purpose of this we're just gonna do that anyways but just heads up. It's super easy if you all just want to do one. Um, let's see. I should probably make a different one for that one then. Um, let's just do a quick. Okay, like that. And then close it off. And then, ba blam. Here we are. What was it? Weirdly enough, something about that doesn't look right. Also, all these guidelines are great. I love guidelines. Hold on. 
Here we go. Yes. Okay, cool. There we are. And then what you can do is you can take the curvature tool and double click an anchor point and hey, in symbol. Well, if you love many colors, you will love doing a lot of work. <laughs> what was it? I yeah, there's there's not much to it other than you have fun with that. Um if you love many colors, I wish you much luck. You will need it. Also, much patience. Um, so, yeah. What was it? I... Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Also, let's just go ahead, scale this down a little bit. So it don't match our... Meh. If it's a little bigger, who cares? Hey, it's pretty perfect. Okay, cool. Oops, I don't love, I don't understand why this is so weird. Mm -hmm. So this one full. My question is, where the heck is this? Hello, here we go, finally. Oh, layers. <laughs> Seattle, Seahawks down a little bit. Match the per pretty perfect love. Oh, that's great. Nope. Nope, this is why Undo is your best friend. Well, it's my best friend. Also, let's kick away. Let's click this. And let's delete this. And also this. And hey, here we are. Also, oh, that's annoying. It's fine. We're going for finished. Something is always better than nothing. Um, and honestly, it's so small, I don't think anyone's going to notice. Um, let's see. What was it? Do y'all think that we should have some curvy cactus or pointy cactus? Yes. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try to make some make some very small um, parts. I'm going to try to cut out some very small needles. Kirby cactus. <laughs> what was it? Let's see. Oh, that's great. Closed captioning is great. Huh, that's interesting. Okay. Whoops. Not what I wanted. Yellow? Okay. Never mind. Um, here we are. Let's see. Choose this. And then we're going to... Oh, also, I'm just going to go ahead and make this a different color because it's going to drive me insane if I keep looking at it and confusing it with a cactus. Nope. We're going to choose um, um, a really weird shade of yellow. Nope, we're just gonna go with lemon yellow. Um, what was it? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What was it? Oh, by the way, uh, what was it? We're gonna take a quick break at the hour mark because I have to go repark my car. But, what was it? When I come back, hopefully we'll be finished with the cactus design and we'll be throwing it onto Cricut. Um, and we'll just be able to make it. Um, and y'all can just see that happening in real life. Um, no, so they actually don't. Um, just because... Here, let me show y'all the actual Cricut cutter for a second. Oof, I have to peel off the tape of this camera. What was it? So... This is the Cricut cutter, right? Um, if you look closely, it's just blades. 
Um, it doesn't have a sensor or anything that says, hey, this is um, this vinyl color or anything like that. It's just there. Um, it just cuts things out. It does not discriminate. Um, what was it? So that's what it is. There's not much else to say about it, honestly. What was it? So because it doesn't know what color you're cutting, um, what was it? You can, regardless of what color you throw into the design at this point, what really matters is the vinyl color like the color of vinyl sheet that you throw it on that you're actually cutting out because um, just because you say that the cactus color is green doesn't mean that if you throw a white vinyl sheet on it's gonna magically become green. I wish that would happen because that would save me so much vinyl. Oh, but that is just a wish. Um, so here we go, and then, ooh, let's look at the reference photos real quick for some spikiness. <laughs> let's see, let's see. I'm just gonna make a quick diamond shape, and I'm gonna make it super tiny. Really super super tiny. Stuff like that, and I'm gonna change it to black because otherwise I'm never gonna be able to see it. And then I'm gonna copy this, and then I'm gonna paste, make a lot of, made, make a lot of copies. I did not think this through. Well, kind of. So what you can also do is you can go like this, right? I'm actually going to make it a little bigger. Dun, 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 dun. Bam, bam. What was it? Actually, I should make this right. I should make this right. I don't know why, it's just, it's, it's hitting me now. And all, all of a sudden now it just looks like a salad. It's fine. Bum blam, ba blam, ba blam. What was it? But yeah, it's, um, this kind of stuff is, honestly, it's a lot of fun. Just because, um, you're doing art, honestly, which is great. Um, what was it? And then let's make a couple more for the left side. Da -da. Yes. And then I don't know how many that was, but um, we'll see. We'll see how many I made <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> So now we're here, and I think, yes, that's the last one, which I'm going to just actually just leave there. Okay, so, ooh, that would be cute. Yes. Um, actually, quick change. We're going to do a watermelon because I love that idea. Um, also because it's a pretty easy shape. Um, so I'm actually just going to... I'm going to group this all together. What was it? Which is control G. And what grouping is, it just makes the entire thing a single object. Uh, basically. Um, so I can just move it around. Move it, in, move it around. Um, transform it change any of its properties all at once. 
um, by just clicking on it. Yeah, well, I've been to Arizona, and I'm gonna be, and I'm gonna be straight. I'm gonna be straight with you. Um, uh, the cactuses can take it. They can take it. I. Yeah. They just can. Look, living in like anything that lives in Arizona naturally is tough. You don't need to worry about its survival. It it what was it. It worried for its own survival for about five seconds when it was born, and then just never worried about it later. Um. What was it? Everything in Arizona, like all the animals and the plants, they want to kill you. It's scary stuff. So I don't feel bad for this cactus at all. Let's see. Um, yes. So I'm going to make just a quick perfect square. Actually, in that case, I can just do this. Uh, ba bam. Ba blam. Oh, whoops. Z because undo is our favorite friend. There we go. Okay, cool. Here we are. And then I'm going to so I'm gonna go here and wow, we're in pixels, that's weird. Um oof. This is interesting. Let's see. Um, let's do the width being a hundred and just do height to a hundred and make it easier on ourselves. What's it? And that's a square. I don't know why that doesn't look like a square, but it kind of doesn't. I'm going to add like five. Yeah, that looks like a square. Was it? Cause I was it. I was it. Um, any of the artists in in there? Was it in chat right now? Was it? I was it. I'm. I think I've heard of the of like. There's a visual illusion that happens when we look at like perfect objects because we don't. Was it? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I've heard of that, of not being able, our eyes not being able to recognize perfect objects, uh, perfectly dimensioned objects as well as other objects, um, just because of how rare, rare they are. Um, can anyone confirm slash deny this? Let's see. And then also we're going to change this to 90 degrees. What? Hello? Okay, so that does not do what I thought it did. Um, or that's okay. Because I'm gonna go here. And do rotate. Oh, that's true. Oh, hold on, I have to do 45. My bad. This makes more sense now. Also, now I understand the whole problem with. Let's do this. 50. Even do the same here because it'll drive me nuts otherwise. Um, and now I'm going to take the curvature tool after we've made our lovely, lovely square and just make this whole thing a circle. What was it? You also have to remember the last part because, like, when you do the three, it mostly works out, except the problem is, so, if you look at it really closely, nope, that's not what we want to do. There we go. Yeah. Um, if you don't do that, um, so, right, so, so far I've curved this one and this one, right? Now I have. Um, was it, I've curved this one, but I have not curved this one yet, and there's a slight difference. Um, what was it just because the rest are curves? What was it there's, what was it the straight line is going to average out with a curved line? And it's going to come really close to being a curved line that that's like the same as the other ones, but it's not. So just, um, heads up. Um, what was it? and then 
I'm going to select this. Nope, that's not what we're going to do. Um, and then I'm going to paste it. Nope. Select this, paste. And then I'm going to make it a little bigger. Nope. Also, I'm going to make the width, I don't know, 175. Right, 175 and then we're gonna make this green because this should be green and then we're going to make this red well that's gonna stay red actually and we're just gonna move the, the meat part I was thinking of it like meat like the inside of a watermelon like the stuff that you actually eat, just because it kind of is, really. Huh. I. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, Abby. You do you. <laughs> very fruitful. Yes, it was a very fruitful Google design, Google search. Ugh. What was it? So, after we try to not be scarred from that, just kidding, um, it was hilarious. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup this, which is Control Shift G. Please tell me how that was. That's correct. Yeah, that's right because the layers just only got real, real, real loud. Um, I'm gonna take some of this. I'm actually just going to delete. I'm gonna delete about half of these including this giant one. No, I don't want that. Stop. Um, I'm going to take this and make it this. And then I'm going to copy this, paste it, and I'm just going to place it around. Right, I should move this all up. Nope. Come on. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in me. I believe in all of us. And our ability to get this done. There is five. I'm almost positive there's only three sets that I'm seeing right now, so where is the other one? Oh, hold on. Nope, that's part of the other one. This is gonna be real interesting, folks. <laughs> oh. And all like in all honesty, Abby, top notch moderator. No lies here, just the truth. Um Yes. Oh. Love you too. Um, uh, why are you dying like this? Please don't do this to me. Not dying. What was it? Why are you being annoying and isolating yourself? This is not the intention. Here we are. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to move you out, and then I'm pretty sure this one's on its standalone. Okay. Where's the other one? Hello? I want to group this together just because. Is it hiding? It is hiding. Haha. -ha. Okay, I'm just going to zoom out a little. So, and then the blam, and the blam. Oops, I need to move that up. Yeah, you gotta be real, real careful sometimes. Um, so that might be too many seeds, honestly. 
Let's take a couple out. Yeah. Um, so let's do it like this. By the way, we're going to make this, like, giant, just FYI. Actually, you know what we're actually going to do? We're going to delete all of these. Yes, we're going to make a giant one. Um, how big will this be? I don't know. How big can we make this sticker? What was it? And where are we going to slap it? I don't know. Can we hide it from Justin, my boss? Um, if we slap it somewhere in the makerspace, he will hopefully never know. Um, let's see. Um, so I'm just going to make... Because I realized watermelon seeds are not actually diamond-shaped. They are, in reality round go to school folks it'll teach you a couple things not all the things but enough hopefully okay um, and then now I'm just gonna curve it with the curvature tool here we are. And I think I wanted it a little skinnier, actually, so I'm just gonna... Sure. Hello. Ooh. Say hello. To watermelon. Do y'all have any ideas for names? Oh. What was it? Ooh, you know what I'm also gonna do? I'm gonna make his smile out of the little things. One, two, three. Rotate. Rotate. Actually, I should probably rotate this a little farther. And then like this, and ro rotate. Ah, why do you do this to me? Mel? Yes. Mel the watermelon. We have a winner. Okay. And then, because I'm a little lazy, and because I don't want to do the rest of the work... Well, I'm going to do the rest of the work. I just don't want to hand draw the rest of the work. I'm going to copy these. Nope. Nope. Come back. Okay. Copy these. Um, and then I'm going to actually... Well, okay. I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to... Rotate it. Transform. Rotate. I think 275. Is that? Hold on. 270 plus 45, 315. Nope, not 23115. Two, That's a lot. Nope. Okay, we're just gonna do this by hand. Let's see. No, we're not. We're just gonna rotate. Um, uh, two, wait, hold on, One, 180 plus 45. Math, math. Huh. Um, was it 180 
plus 45. I promise you, I am a computer science student. Sometimes I know math. Um, I know math. Sometimes. What was it? Though I can't figure out this orientation for the life of me. Let's see. Uh, uh, um, um, where are you? We're just gonna go ahead and. Oh, it's because I haven't grouped it. That's why I can't rotate it. Duh. Hello. Oh, well, that's nice. That'll work out. Good enough. We're just gonna shrink it a little. No one will know the difference, honestly. What was it? And then I'm gonna group this entire thing. And so, for the sake of stickers, I'm going to actually hold on. I should make sure that this looks correct in. Oh no, oh no. Mel has some unfortunate facial hair. Um, we're just gonna... So what I'm doing is right now, I'm just making sure... Also, hold on. Shift. Because that'll give you the same dimensions. Also, what I'm doing is right now, is I'm making sure that... Also, maybe I should just... Yeah. Ooh, okay. So, I don't know how I feel about this, I'm gonna be honest. It looks like teeth, but not. I don't know. I don't know. Thoughts? Anyone? Okay. In that case, I guess we're going with it. Um, ooh, question. No's or no no's, folks? What was it? I'll let you, I'll let you see really quickly. No nose? Okay. Good. To be honest, it makes Mel look like a little like a clown, and Mel doesn't deserve that. Um, but yeah. Well, I will say, I kind of want to make a couple tiny freckles for Mel. I think freckles could be real cute. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's a lot. What do freckles look like again? What was it? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Um, are we good? For connection? What was it? Um, yeah. Cool. Okay. Let's just uh, make things symmetrical. Okay. So, I... You know what? Now that I look at it, maybe not symmetrical. Maybe not. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. I'm glad I was only out for two seconds. No? Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna... Control... I'm just gonna copy this, because honestly, it's nice. Or I can just move it out and just make it look like it's similar. Yep, and then we're gonna move it here. Ooh, 
Ooh, you know what we could do? We'll see. We're gonna do this real quick. We're gonna... Cut this out, and then we're going to... Make a quick sketch. Let's see, where are you? Hello. Like so, and then we're going to curve it. Um, where are you? Where are you, curvature? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to make this green. In all reality, it's probably going to be the same color green. Let's see. Here. So we're just going to shrink it a little bit. What was it? Thoughts? I... I I like this a lot better than the um, seed mouth. I'm gonna be honest, the seed mouth was a little scary. Um, what's it? And you know what? We can uh, make it look like those, um, like the gummy, the gummy watermelons, um, the sour ones. And we can actually just go ahead, copy this, paste this, make this smaller. And make this red to match with this here. Cute. Although the eyes are a little big. It's about the details, folks. It's it's about the details. It is seven. So when we get so now that I'm finished with Mal, when we get back, I'm going to show you all how we're gonna get it set up for the Cricut software and how we actually cut it out. So tune in in five minutes. Hopefully, I don't know how long parking my car is gonna take. Was it? Abby will take questions until then. Be right back.
I'm back, folks. Oh. Ooh. Sorry, y'all. Oh. Ooh, sorry. Um. I gotta, I gotta take the bus next, next time or something. Two-hour parking is not my friend. Ooh. Thank you. Oh. Alrighty. Okay, so. What was it? So, uh, mainly you want to separate everything that you're going to cut out by color. So, actually, first thing, first things first. You want to make sure that all that your, all your colors, sorry, all your objects are exactly how you want them to be. So, for example, sometimes they're layered. So it's like this, or sorry, it's like this, right? Which we did for the sake of showing off um, what the design was going to look like. But right now, all it's going to do is when we separate it by color, it's just going to cut out a giant circle, and there's going to be a lot of space, or there's going to be a lot of vinyl that we don't use because it's just going to be covered up by the red. So, what you can do is I'm actually going to make this a little smaller. And I'm gonna put this here in the center. What was it? The smaller bit is just for um, this. The reason why I made it a tiny bit smaller is just to account for margins. Um, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, there's a cut tool where you can cut things out of other things. If I can remember where it is. Slice, maybe. No. Um, where are you? Object. Shape. No. Hold on. Help. Help. What was it? Yeah. The search bar is also my favorite friend. Cut. Oh, Philly. I, that it was not what I thought. How to cut an object. How to cut out an object. Here we go. Uh, nope. Illustrator. By the way, if anyone has any questions about um, things, uh, sorry, about the library or the makerspace, um, just tell me, what was it, or just ask, please, because, like, it's, 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 uh, kind of, it's, like, one of two major reasons that I'm here. What was it? I'm just asking because I haven't gotten one in a while, and I don't know if that's because I forget to men keep on, I forget to keep on mentioning that's a thing I can do, or if just, y'all just don't have any questions. Yes, okay, so... Object, path, divide objects below. Yeah? Yeah. There we go. And then we're just going to make this red again. Actually, you know what I should have done? I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste this here. Ah. Uh, no, 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 no. No, there we go. And then here, go. I really should have just kept that there um, and made a copy, and but it's fine. It works now. Um, object, path, divide objects below. Yay! Okay, now we delete this. Maybe go over like this. We just know. Yeah, we'll have some space to work with. Okay, so there's that. And I'm going to do the same thing from here. Obviously, that did not select that, so that's fine. Whoa! Hey, hey now, hey now. That's interesting. That's fine. Um, let's see. Uh, 
I'm going to make a copy of this, make it a little smaller. Actually, I need to do that with the other selection tool. Is it centered? Yeah, there we go. We're centered now. And then we're going to cut this out. Where's it? Where's it? Object, path, divide objects below. And then we're going to pull this one out. Hello? Oh, it's because it's um, grouped. Here, let's do that. Yay, there we are. And just to make sure that's bigger. Yeah, we're bigger. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to delete this because we don't need that. And then I'm going to just make this line up as much as possible so that we don't, so we waste as little final as, as possible. And then I'm going to group this together because it's going to make me, it's going to make it way easier on the program later. Um, what's that? I'm going to do this. Group this. I'm going to check the layers because layers can be interesting. What are you? Wait, seriously, what are you? Hello? So if I get rid of you, you're going to be fine, right? Yes, yes, sorry. I'm going to guess that it's that it was, it's been a minute. But um, yes, Abby is absolutely right. If you think of a question later, um, ask, ask us. <laughs> um, it's in the title and it's their job. Um, and they'll answer all general library questions. And if they have any special, if you have any special questions like, hey, can you redirect me? Can you, what was it, where should I send an email to? Or where should I find a link to for the makerspace or the VR or our data research um, department? Or sorry, data visualization department. Um, they can all re redirect you towards the proper channels. But yes, um, also I'm going to do that. Alrighty, I think we should be good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out. Ooh, hello. I'm going to file, save as. Whoa, hello. <laughs> um, there's Megan. That's one of our. Um, that's one of our other streamers. Well, that I? I'm going to give her a little just. Let's see, where is it? New folder. Hi, Megan. What was it? Um, just a little note for her. Um, let's see, where are you? Where are you? Let's throw this in. Let's title this um, Mel. Save. Oh, actually, hold on. I'm sorry. I almost completely forgot. File, save as. Right. The whole point of me doing that was because it's it's um we're also gonna make a new folder for us called uh um vectorized designs, digital designs AI short for Adobe Illustrator and we're gonna title this mail and then we're gonna save it as SVG it's really important that we save it as an SVG because that's the type of vectorized file that we want um, and otherwise the cricket won't know um, let's see um, honestly I don't worry about the rest of these things I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move on okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to cricket I really hope that they actually downloaded Cricut because I don't know if I can download things on, there, on here. Cricut.com. So Cricut has a design space. Um, so actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it up really quick. I'm going to move this to the back. And I'm going to make this big so everyone can see. 
So, uh, we don't sponsor Cricket. I feel like I should, I, f I feel like I should say this so everyone knows. We don't, we're not sponsored by Cricket. Um, we don't, and we don't sponsor Cricket. Um, we, was it, we just have to use, was it, they have specific design software on there um, about this, was it about how to use their machines. Sorry. There are specific software on there that we have to use for the machines and it's on their website, which has the rest of their company like their sales and stuff, so just FYI, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah, uh, we're gonna click away from this stuff. How do we, there we go, okay. Let's see, no, I won. Da, da, da. Sorry. Windows are always fun around, fun to play around with. Um, what was it? Ooh, interesting. Um, wait a minute. Put this put it there, and then transition. Yep. Okay, here we are. Uh, this will work much better now. So now we're going to go to design, and then we're going to open, question mark, try again. Okay, so we need to download it. Save. Um, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Abby, for um, throwing that into the chat. Let's see. Let's see. We're downloading. Right, forget we actually have to do something with it. Um, yeah. So how how is everyone? Um, I feel like I should ask something. I feel like I should talk while while this is loading up for a second. Uh, this week's been wild for a lot of people that I know and personally, to my understanding, just because there's a lot that happens in the world. Yay! That's great. Let's see. Ooh, that is great. I have not finished all my midterms. You tell me how that feels. Um, what was it? So, I think I'm downloaded. Better I downloaded it twice. Uh, it should be fine. So now we go to design, and now we open this. Nope. Okay, we're gonna look it up. Cricket Design Space. There we are. Okay. And now I'm gonna show you another. <laughs> I'm gonna show you another window. So I'm actually going to delete this. It's going to be me and the red for a hot minute. Um, window capture. Click, 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 click. Um, I'm trying to remember all of the passwords for my Cricut ID. Let's 
let's see. Let's see. Oof. Hey, there we go. Okay, cool. Um, and then we're gonna move this down to nope to here. Okay, and then we are going to transition. All right. Okay. So this is the cricket. It used to be on a website, which is why I opened it up like that. Um, it used to be a web web browser software only. Um, so we're gonna choose Cricut Maker because that's what I have right now. And ooh, fun. Okay. But yes, I made a couple things while I was last year. I went on a sticker freaking. Yes. Yes. It is lots of fun. Um, so I'm actually gonna make this bigger because why not? We could use the space. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're going to import. Oh, you know what I realized? Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. I forgot to save it as different things. Uh, nope, not shapes. Upload. So it already has some in there. Whoops. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. So give me one hot minute. Um, well, so I'm actually going to transition to the dock cam for a hot sec. Because um, I have to do something. Um, is it so I'm going to upload images. What was it? I'm sorry, what was it? Um, I would normally show you more right now. It's just, um, uh, uh, I can't show you something because of copyright issues. So, um, and I didn't realize that until just now. <laughs> Let's see, where is my, um, what did I tell it? Vectorized art? Which vectorized digital designs, here we go. Mel. So, I'm going to transition back, but hello. Yes. Um, okay. So, this is the Cricut software. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this a little bigger because we're going to make this as... I told you, we're going to make this thing as big as possible. Um, and what we're actually going to do is we're going to go ahead and... I'm actually going to... I'm going to delete this um, and this part. Was it? And I'm going to make this as big as I can. Was it? You usually want to also leave about a quarter of an inch for margins. Just heads up because um, how big? How big am I getting with this? Yeah, it's gonna be giant. But that's half the fun. Um, what was it? Whew. Wow, this thing is enormous. Um, what was it? But that does mean it's easy. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to attach. Um, and what attach does is, is it'll basically pin it in place on wherever you're working in the Cricut software. So like, 
if I had a lot of letters, right, if I typed out Andrew, um, you know, and threw that in there and threw the letters into the software, if I didn't attach it, what would happen is that the Cricut software would find the most efficient way to smush all of your letters and all of your objects to preserve the most amount of space, which makes it annoying later on. <laughs> so just, um, yeah, heads up. Um, attach is your friend. Um, and then you're going to hit make it. Yeah. Mel's going to be giant. Actually, you know what we should do? Also, we should go ahead and move Mel in place. Oh. Yeah. Let's ungroup this. Move me all here. It'll make it easier later on. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. What was it right now? Hold on, where are my projects? Where did Mel go? Mail. My projects. Where did you go? No. Oh, cancel. What was it? We're gonna control A, attach. Um, and then we're gonna make it. And this is the preview. Ooh. It looks a little to the right. Mel looks. Mel's mouth is a little too to the to the right. I don't love that. I do not love that. So I'm just gonna detach it and then move it over a little like that, and then attach, make. There we go. Mel looks better now. Okay. Continue. Okay, so now is where we're at the point of, hey, let's make, let's cut this thing out. Um, so this is the vinyl. So we're going to choose vinyl. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to do load tools and materials. So what I'm actually going to do first is you need something to load into the Cricut, right? Um, it, so what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of vinyl. All right, you're going to peel off the city side of the cover what was it and this is a cutting mat for cricket um specific and the blue ones are specifically meant for well okay the colors was it you'll have a, a couple different colors but um they'll all correspond to like different materials what other materials can the cricket handle yes so this is my favorite part about the cricket um i love the cricket personally just because it's just a very fun arts and crafts tool. Um, you can cut construction paper, normal paper, um, fabric. Um, actually, if we just go here, we can see. It's like cardstock, artboard, paper, vinyl, iron on fabric, iron on fabric, fabric. Was it? Oh, cottons, denim, silk, uh, copy paper, uh, felt, leather. What was it? Let's see. How many materials can we? Oh boy. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. These are all the materials that the, that the um, Cricut can handle. Some of them require extra extra attachments. For example, the denim, you need a specific blade for that. But um, for most everything else, um, you can use the same. So let's load. Um, so, what I'm, so all I'm doing right now is I'm taking this and I'm gonna be slapping a piece of vinyl on top of it. Let's go to our box. Of, let's go to our box of vinyl, and let's move this around. Uh, let's see. What's where's a good green for that? By the way, if you ever decide that you want to make vinyl stickers, please come in and do so when we are open. 
because we would love to teach you. Honestly, it's like my favorite thing to teach people. It's like the most fun. And like the people who come in to do vinyl, they love it. And it's just like, they know how much fun it is. Ooh, I'm starting to think. Let's see if there's a better color. Yes. Okay. So. I'm going to switch the camera over to the dot cam. So I can show you all now. So this is this, um, and you want to make sure that the corners match up really well for this, for when you're laying on, actually, come on, uh, let me readjust the camera. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Is everyone able to see? Uh, that's an interesting angle, admittedly. Hold on. That's better? Ooh, yes, we have, well, okay, I'm gonna be honest, black's a really popular color, but, um, so we're a little out of there, but every color of the rainbow um, what was it? We also have a couple, a couple colors that are not on the rainbow. Um, what was it? Like, there is this. See, I always want a reason to use this, but I just never do. Um, because it's so pretty. It's just so pretty. It's, um, this, like, shiny metallic silver. Yes. Um, and if you're lucky and you come in on a day when we have. Yes, metallics. What was it? There's even a gold metallic very shiny um but yeah if you come in on a lucky day and we're all restocked um we may or may not have matte colors which i personally just love what was it like the matte black it goes so fast it's just so popular and it's like oh my 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 mine <laughs> now but um seriously it's great but yeah okay so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna line them up underneath the hooks and then press press the little button and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press go Whoops, sorry, that was not on purpose. That was because I moved the mic so it wouldn't get hit um, by the vinyls sticking out because it goes through the back. Um, but yeah, I accidentally muted it when I was moving it. But yes. We are now done with the green part. And we pull it out. And we peel it off very gently. Oof. Okay. And now we are going to get ready the other half. Um, I'm just going to leave that there. Let's see. What was it? 
so let's upload mail again. Okay, so where did mail go? Oh, hello, here we are. Okay, so I'm gonna move back to the cricket because now we have to cut out Mel's face. What was it? And so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete. Actually, I'm just gonna delete the entire entire group. And what was it? Actually, no, I shouldn't do that. What was it? I need to keep that there for reference. But um, so we're gonna recreate this. We're gonna Control Shift G everything. Ungroup. 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 I'm. You know what? I'm actually. Well. I'm actually, no, I should keep that the same. Um, but we're going to still make everything giant. Giant. What was it? Hold on. We want to make sure that it doesn't hit the edge. 4, 8, 12. Whoops. Yeah, okay, so that's what happened. And so now we're going to click off, and we're gonna move this over here. Yep. So that's about right. So I'm gonna delete this. I'm also gonna delete this. I'm going to move this. So I'm just going to do some moving around and see how much I can fit on there. Ooh, also, itchy nose, itchy nose. Let's move this over there. So let's see, if, see if I can make it fit. I think so. Twelve, twelve. Okay, and then I. We're gonna not think about him for a what, for a hot minute, and then we're going to attach this, and then we're going to make it. Yes. Okay. And then now what we're gonna do is we're going to take a piece of red, if we can find it, because red is another popular color in the space. Question: What, what, uh, what color should Mel's face be if we cannot find red? Because there's a good chance we ran out of red. I'm gonna be totally honest. found I found a hot pink watermelon well so what are our thoughts on, on hot pink okay good what was it so now we're gonna move back well it's actually we're gonna hit continue first um, Choose vinyl, and now we're gonna move over to the to the dot cam. What was it like so? If you can't tell, I've done this a lot. Okay, here we go. Actually, hold on. I don't know if that was perfectly symmetrical. There we are. Cool. And then go. Oh, and this is also a good example of the question that was asked earlier about whether or not what color that we choose to um, make the objects be 
um, if they will have to be the colored vinyl that you cut out? And the answer is no. Okay. That was really quick. And now we're done. <laughs> what was it? And then we have to load it. And then I peel this off. And depending on our time, well, if we rush, we should be fine. Or if we just hurry up a little bit. Let's see. And now we want black. We're going to see if we find black, because black is another popular color. I, there's a good chance we just don't have black. I am. Um, we'll see. What was it? Thoughts on color choices if we cannot find black? Chat? Let's see, I'm seeing green, I'm seeing gold, I'm seeing yellow, blue, brown, purple, pink, beige, silver, brown, I might do a very, uh, I don't know if I want to do dark brown. Was it we could do silver? Yes, metallic silver. You are correct. You are correct. What was it? Um, so I'm going to move this over. I'm just going to go ahead and preset this. So I'm going to go ahead and do it like so. <sighs> okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to transition back and then go to cricket finish um, and then we're going to say goodbye to the faces or to the face part and we're gonna say hello to the eyes and this part we're gonna just move over as much as we can like so That's it. okay and then now what we're gonna do is we're going to make it Right, I forgot to attach. Attaching is important. Attach, folks. It'll help. Make. Final. Okay, so now I'm going to move over to the duck cam. finishing up. I'm going to go grab the, um, I, I forget what it is. Hold on.
Huh. Yes, robot watermelon. <sighs> okay, so now I'm gonna take this out. I could not find the paper, um, which is weird, because we usually have a lot. Um, but it's a specific type of paper that you pull out, or that has a very low adhesive qual low adhesive strength. Um, and it's mostly useful there just because um, it's mostly useful because at the end um, you can just peel the entire thing off, uh, slap it onto the paper, um, and sorry, you can um, throw the paper on there, and then once you're done, uh, whenever you want to apply it, you can just peel it off and then slap it onto wherever you want. What was it? But anyways, so I'm gonna move this away. Okay. Oof. Are, and I can move the camera back here. Okay. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off the metallic. And then I'm going to put the cover back on because otherwise the sticky, the sticky grip is going to die. And we like these. And we don't have an infinite budget as much as our expensive machines are. Okay. Whew. So, normally, what you're gonna do now is you're going to take these and you're also going to take. So these are just a couple of tools that we use for the cricket. Um, this is useful if I'm remembering correctly. Maybe it's been a hot minute since I've used this. Um, but this is what we're gonna do first to cut out the vinyl. You know what? Nope. We're going to use scissors. We're going to use scissors because I like scissors. Frankly, they're easier to use. Whew. Let's see. So here we are. We're just cutting these out right now so we don't waste all the final. Okay. And then this. Honestly, it kind of is the entire. What was it? The. Um, huh. Hold on. I. Did I pause? The, um, am I moving right now? Because there's a good chance I just paused this somehow. Crap. 
Cool. Okay. It's not showing up on my end, so I was just double checking. Um, so I'm going to be cutting out the pink. Like so. Actually, honestly, it's so giant. I don't know if there's really much that we can salvage from this. Yes, the vinyl is supposed to be moving. So it is not moving. Okay, there's that's that's a thing that's happening right now. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, let's see, what's happening here? Bam bam. <laughs> That's a fair point. What happens if we just transition back and forth? No, no, the person, person cam. Oh, you know, there's a good question. Where's the dock cam? OBS is interesting, y'all. OBS is interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Add existing dot cam. Doc cam. Yes, very interesting. <laughs> hmm. Mm hmm. Why is this happening? No. This is such a shame. I was so ready to show y'all my beautiful, beautiful Mel. Well, our Mel. Mel doesn't really belong to anyone. Um. Let's see. Okay. We're live. We're live. Yay. Okay. You are true. It happened during the last few minutes. So, it was also, this thing is kind of giant, so I feel bad about this. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to peel off all the parts that we don't want. Um, so this is, okay, honestly, it depends on how tiny it is, but it can get really fun just peeling this stuff off. It's very relaxing, honestly. Yes, we are back. Okay, so, wow. Hello. Wow. Y'all didn't see that. Okay, the the excess was just magically disappeared. We are not going to talk about how big this sticker is. Well, we are, just we're not going to tell Justin. Yeah? Promise? Okay. Oh, for those of them in the chat who don't, who don't, know, who don't know who Justin is, because um, I don't know how many people are in the chat right now, um, Justin is my boss, um, and he runs the space. Off. Hello. This is true. He will love it when I stick it to the door.
Okay. Um, and then also, we have these other tools here because, oh, it's eight. Darn it, we're not gonna get to the other ones. Well, okay, I will say, I had lots of fun on the stream. I love you all very dearly. Um, what was it? If you thought this was fun, tune back in next week when I will finish up Mel and start up my digital design for, well, I mean, if y'all like this, uh, we can do more of this, but we, um, yeah, but if you have any questions, ask, what was it, go to the link for Ask Us and they'll help you out. Um, tune in next time where I will be next week, Wednesday, 6 to 8, same time, where I will be, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, I'm going to be perfectly honest, um, but we'll see what happens. Um, alrighty. Love y'all. Adios.